Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on solving linear equations. And what I've got here is two examples where we've got linear equations with brackets in. And special care has got to be taken with question two. So uh, I'll take you through both of these. Okay, so uh, let's start with number one. When we get a question like this, what we've got to do is expand the brackets. I'm assuming that you're familiar with expanding brackets. What we do is we just multiply the two terms inside the bracket with the three and the two terms inside here with the four. So if we do that, we've got three times two x, which is six x. Three times the minus one is minus three. And this equals four times the x, which is 4x and 4 times the minus 2 which is minus 8. And in previous videos we've looked at questions like this. So all we need to do now is say take 4x from both sides and if we do that 6x take 4x leaves us with 2x and we've got the minus 3 here that constant and if we take 4x from this side the 4x cancels leaving us with just minus 8. Next we just want to add 3 to both sides so therefore 2x equals minus 8 add 3 which gives us minus 5 and now all we do is divide both sides by 2 leaving us with x equals minus 5 divided by 2. Minus 5 divided by 2 is going to be a negative value overall and 5 over 2 is 2 and a half. Okay, so that's that one. Now, with number 2, it did say you've got to take special care with something like this. What we've got here is one term here, the 7, and we've got another term here, the 5 times 3x minus 4. So two terms on the left-hand side. And we've also got two terms on the right hand side, the 3 and the 2x plus 5. And what you don't want to do is make the mistake that this is 7 take 5. It's not. Okay, we've got to see this as two terms. That's why learning about terms is so important in my opinion. So we just keep the 7 there and we now expand this bracket. We've got minus 5 times the 3x and then minus 5 times the minus 4. So minus 5 times the 3x is minus 15x and minus 5 times the minus 4 is plus 20. And then it equals and with this one we've got two terms, the 3, so put that down, and here we've got minus one lot, okay, not that there appears to be a one written here, but here we have the five, but now when you've got nothing in front of a bracket, we see this as minus one times the two x plus five. So we've got minus one times two x, which is minus two x, and minus one times the plus five is minus five. Now here we've got several terms that are exactly the same. We've got two constants here, that are the same type of term. So we can group those together. 7 plus the 20, which gives us 27. And then we've got this term, the x term here, minus 15x. On the right-hand side, we've got two constants again, the 3 and the minus 5. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. And then we've got our x term here, minus 2x. And this brings us down to the type of question we've been dealing with in previous tutorials. And I showed you that it's generally a good idea to check out which side has the bigger x term. And minus 2x is bigger than minus 15x. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the minus 15x by adding 15x to both sides. So we've got 27 here, minus 15x plus another 15x just leaves us with that 27. 
and on the other side here the right hand side we've got our constant minus 2 and if we add 15x to minus 2x or do 15x minus 2x that's going to leave us with plus 13x next I want to get rid of the minus 2 by adding 2 to both sides so 27 plus 2 is 29 and that leaves us with the 13x since minus 2 add 2 goes to 0 we now need to get rid of the 13 here so we divide both sides by 13 and so we get 29 over 13 equals x 13x over 13 that cancels out to the x and now I can bring the x to the left hand side 29 divided by 13 goes two whole times 2 13s are 26 leaves me with 3 left over 3 13ths then. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea now how we go about handling equations then where we've got brackets like these two here.